Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Time Bomb Channel. Of course, with myself a bombardier, and yep, it's uh, Pagani time again. This week, um, I have to confess, I wasn't aware how prophetic my throwaway comment uh, was about Pagani going to be one of the most popular brands of, uh, of this year. But it seems more and more of us are, are going uh, Pagani shopping. This one again has been uh, bought by a friend of mine and uh, lent into the channel. Not sure what you guys think. Do you think maybe there's a possibility that Pagani are going to topple the uh, Invicta hegemony on, on homage watches? I'm really curious to see how they approach uh, 2021 uh, with their further new designs. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get on with the watch that we've got for today. Um, this one is Ref uh, PD1661. Uh, um, and as you can see here, um, sorry, yeah, no, let me just get it out of the box before I, before I show you that one, <laughs> because um, it definitely requires looking at um, an incredible, <laughs> an incredible piece. But anyway, um, so as you can see here, they're, they're currently selling uh, for around 60 UK pounds on AliExpress. Um, the uh, box is um, just uh, standard Pagani stuff, so I'm not going to bother uh, boring you with the details of that one. Um, but I mean, yeah, this is um, our golden nugget. I mean, this is a watch that uh, truly, truly needs to be worn with uh, with confidence. I think the last time I saw a gold Submariner was on the wrist of a Nigerian general in a hotel bar in Abuja, and he wore it with panache. Personally, I'm not sure I can carry this off as well as uh, he did. Um, these golden versions come in three colorways, as you can see here. We've got the all green, then the black gold of the sun, and then, of course, this one, uh, the blue-eyed baby. Let's kick off with some specs as we see what we're looking at. So basically, um, is a uh, standard 40 mils uh, in diameter, sitting on uh, 20 mil lugs. And then you've got a depth, uh, top to bottom there, of uh, 47 mils. But do note that your uh, end links are fixed. Um, so just make sure you've got the correct profile. So as you can see here, you do get quite a lot of, uh, of overhang. So that will uh, impact uh, fit on wrist, um, as, I, as I'll show you a little later. But overall, it's quite a, a manageable size. If, of course, um, you are uh, comfortable with this being a total, total bling master. Um, with regards to weight as well, um, on this bracelet, uh, which has been sized for the owner, um, it weighs around 134 grams. Um, you've got a uh, synthetic sapphire uh, crystal up top. Um, around the back, uh, we've got our standard Pagani exhibition case back, uh, revealing the NH35A um, which is both, of course, hacking and quick set date. Um, and then lastly, you get a hundred meters worth of of wateriness um, on this watch. So yeah, not a not a diver in any sense, but yeah, but it'll it'll deal with most of your uh, sports requirements. The bezel um, up top here is a sixty click. Um, it is ceramic also, and as I've mentioned in uh, some previous reviews I've done of Pagani watches, it is one of their weaknesses. Um, the action, if we listen here, sounds superb. Nice, clean, functional, it's all balanced, um, you know, sounds are all the same, there's no grit, there's no nothing else in there, um, works really very, very well. Um, but as you can see here, let me just pop it back up to the top, there is a lot of movement in it. It's almost as if it's like a whole click's worth of, of looseness. Now, I have heard that maybe by replacing the spring inside the uh, bezel, that might rectify it. If you guys have tried that and had any success, please do drop a comment down below because I'd be really interested to hear about that. The blue sunburst dial, though, um, as you've probably picked up here, the way it's just reflecting that light is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's really very, very, very well done. Um, however, I would th suggest, though, that it, it, it sometimes gets a little bit lost simply because everything else on the, on the watch um, is just shining. Um, the, the sunburst does get a little bit outshone. I think it's also kind of cute. You can't see there because of the time, but just under the uh, Pagani design at the top there, they've added the text Explorer on the dial. Um, I'm wondering if this is a slight touch of Asiatic sarcasm, um, because clearly this is not a homage to the uh, the Explorer in any way. 
the hour markers are applied um, and uh, look pretty solid. However, I um, let me just line this up so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll drop one with a straight line. So if we look down at the, um, make sure the watch is vertical. If we look down at the, uh, no it's not, there we go. If we look down at the six o'clock hour marker, to me, um, it seems a little skewed. I'll add up a, a close up shot here because I think for me, it's, it's heading off towards uh, the seven o'clock uh, marker just at the top there. It's not straight. Um, I think the other thing that I, I find about the dial design is that the hands, uh, to me, seem just a little bit short. The uh, minute hand doesn't reach um, out into the minute track, um, whereas the second hand uh, does. Um, the, that Mercedes hands, I think, perhaps could have been a little bit thicker or a little bit longer. Um, but during the short time uh, that I've had to had, had the watch to, to review it, it hasn't impacted on legibility any 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 way, and it reads well. The Cyclops, yeah, I've got issues with Cyclopses on watches, um, but I have to confess, on this one it does exactly what uh, it says on the box. Um, it magnifies, and it magnifies very well. The uh, bracelet um, has a good combination there of the brushing and polished, um, and in that, that blingy gold, it does actually work really quite well, as you can see, just as it catches the light here. The Pagani that I reviewed the other day, you can see that the, the brushing finishing wasn't brilliant. Uh, this one seems uh, to be a lot more balanced. Uh, perhaps it's because the gold is a little bit warmer. Um, it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as you can see here. Um, flanks, though, highly polished on that uh, case. Um, the other thing that I would say about the bracelet is it's a little bit jangly. Um, so if that bothers you, uh, I, I get that. But do bear in mind uh, how much these watch, watches cost. Um, yeah, I think that's a key factor um, when sort of deciding, you know, what you can live with and, and what you can't. So as I mentioned before, the bracelet then starts then at 20. It tapers down to 16 mils and then the clasp comes back out again to 20. Uh, clasp obviously then, you know, signed single retaining clip here. And I, I'm quite impressed with this clasp actually in comparison to some of the other uh, Pagani clasps that I've seen because this one, as you can see here, there's, there's no virtually no wiggle in that at, at all. Um, some of the other ones that I've seen, um, they're really loose uh, just up here, but this one is pretty solid. Um, so yeah, um, good, 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 uh, good improvement there. Um, the case, yeah, I mean. The case is, uh, as you can see, it's incredibly Submariner-esque. Um, very, very recognisable. I think yeah, key standouts for me are these, are these very, very positive, proud uh, lugs coming down here, and then I think yeah, those those crown guards as well as they as they're polished um, in, into that crown. Very nice. Also, again, obviously you've got a signed and a screw down crown here. Um, underneath, it's a stainless steel. Um, but I've been digging around and I can't find anywhere how this golden coating is applied. Is it plated? Is it ion, etc.? I couldn't find that, that detail anywhere. Not sure if you guys have any ideas, please do let us know. Now, um, as this is a brand new watch, I can't share with you how that plating then stands up to wear, and that's why I'm, I'm just referencing it. Because um, to me, it would be a consideration because right now, uh, this gold looks absolutely superb. But should that sheen uh, start to come away, I think it might niggle me. Or alternatively, it might sort of add to, you know, a little patina to the, the aging of this. Um, I think, yeah, they're still a little bit new, really, aren't they? So uh, not sure if anyone's had this for a couple of years now. They can, they can share how, how that sort of progresses in time. But again, I don't think the consideration of the, uh, the plating sort of staying on there is, is the consideration for the price uh, with this watch. I think for the price, you're getting something else, and it is a complete bling master. Um, here are some uh, shots of it in the sunshine, and as you can see, that dial is, is an undeniable beauty. Um, I have to confess that I don't see many people at work or in the pub uh, wearing uh, shiny gold watches like these, um, but I also confess that this one really does make me smile when I look at it. It's like a golden slap in the face, and I think it's a, a huge amount of fun. And yes, 
the Rolex 116618 um, looks like this. Um, you can spot some of the similarities and differences. And of course, these Rolexes sell for something between 25 to 30,000 uh, pounds. Clearly, a very, very different world from the 60 pounds um, that you pay for this Pagani design. Pagani, of course, do make these uh, Subby Explorers um, in steel. So if uh, you're like me and you prefer to fly slightly under the radar, then you are in luck. Um, let me just throw it, throw it on wrist uh, before I wrap up there. Um, rocking the Smiths uh, today. Yeah, a little bit more subtle uh, than, uh, than this Pagani. Um, the chap who, who owns this new one, uh, his, his wrist is a little smaller. So just gently squeeze that over my hand. Um, but as you can see, fit on uh, fit on wrist um, is, is is exactly what you would expect uh, for a watch of these dimensions. Um, it's just it's just a colorway. <laughs> it would take me something to get get, get used to to live in with a watch like this. But as I say, uber positive, and uh, yeah, you can't help but smile every time you see it. All right, guys. You just finish up there then with a with a with a quick 360. As I say, bags of fun for this watch for 60 quid. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to reading your comments down below. And of course, guys, up until next time, this is your host, the Bombardier, signing off. Cheers. <laughs>